Okay. It's story time with Snow Sharp, reading excerpts from my autobiography, The Book of Heavy Metal. Chapter one. New York, 31st of October. King Diamond Conspiracy World Tour, 1989-1990. We probably had about half a dozen of shows under the belt by the time the whole juggernaut of King Diamond Entourage steered the trucks and buses towards the East Coast and New York City. As opposed to many colleagues who dreamt of the glittery Hollywood, to me, New York had always been the ultimate definition of America. Having never been there before, I told manager Ole Bang to wake me up the moment we entered the New York State or as soon as I could catch a glimpse of the Statue of Liberty. On my first American tour, we went all over, starting from California and moving upwards, sideways, through the Midwest and all over the map. We had shitloads of fun, gave great performances and experienced many great and amazing store adventures, like earthquakes, getting stuck in a blizzard in the Rocky Mountains, among other memorable events. Yet, None of the aforementioned filled me with more awe, excitement, and anticipation than going to play New York City. It goes without saying that this perception of mine had been filtered and colored by all the stereotypes one had been fed since childhood through TV series, movies, and so on. But still, none of that meant as much to me as the actual fact that this was KISS Country not to mention the home of Spider-Man and Man of War, of course. Well, you can read all about it in the book of heavy metal. 